Hello my dudes, what's up? It's me, Orange Knight 12, and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Today I am continuing onwards with another strategy guide on how to win the game. So basically if you didn't see my first episode, this is basically a mini series where I go ahead and give tips to all those players who need a little bit of extra help with their um, Fortnite gameplay. So pretty much I'm writing down a couple of tips and tricks that some of the pros use and various types of strategies that can lead to helping you win. Now, whereas in the last episode I kind of broke down what was going through my mind and I was playing a bit aggressively and tactically, this time I'm going to be showing you a video where essentially I am playing defensive. So I managed to go ahead and win this entire game and I only got one kill. Which I pretty much was able to go ahead and use my intellect and survival skill to stay alive long enough in order to pick off the last person. So essentially I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did it while also talking through what was going on in my mind at the time. As usual this video does not have any commentary other than my own at the moment so yeah. So basically what's happened so far in the first few seconds, the storm is relatively close to me and I'm just trying to go ahead and collect some materials. So I'm just farming a couple of things in the house. At the moment I have almost 100 wood, which I do have about now. I've got traps, even though I never ended up using them. And I managed to find a slurp early on, which gave me about 25 shields. Which isn't much, but something. So I'm just going around farming every little thing I can, and trying to prioritize things. Basically the way that I have my setup is that I usually have an AR in the front, and I'll typically have a better ranged weapon usually next to that. I'll either have a shotgun, mostly, or if I have one, a hunting rifle usually use my second weapon there. Then I'd usually prioritize a shotgun or an SMG and then finally have a sniper rifle or an explosive weapon in the back just in case. Cause those are the powerful things so I save them near my heels where I need them the most. Luckily I'm able to find another slurp in the house. There's no chest so finding this was extremely handy as that gave me 150 health. So I was able to stand up to at least a semi-auto sniper if it attacked me which wouldn't be that much of an issue, and now that I've got Slurp coming in on me, I decided to go ahead and head out and start collecting for more resources. Because I need to collect a lot more if I'm going to make something to defend myself during the battle. So I'm going to skip ahead here into about 30 minutes ahead of before, or 20, I mean 30 or 20 seconds. And you notice I didn't exactly run for the storm, since I have plenty of time the storm is on me at the moment. And by that mean the circle is extremely close, I decided instead to go ahead and check around. Because I thought I had remembered seeing someone land towards the side. So I was going ahead and checking around to make sure it was eluded. Luckily for me, I find myself an armor pot, which brings me immediately to 200 health. Which comes in handy, because I needed that a long time ago later on in the game. And you'll see why I mean in a moment. So here I'm just trying to farm some resources, mostly metal, because that comes in handy when you're trying to build major bases, because it is the strongest material. If you can build something out of metal early, that will typically help you out. So I'm just going around trying to collect as much resources as possible, because you never know when you need them. Since Fortnite is mostly based on using your building skills in order to survive, you need to have materials on you if you're going to make it through any combat in the game. Remember that when you're in future conflicts. So skipping ahead here, I'm skipping to around the second circle. I've got quite a couple of things. I got a blue AR, a suppressed pistol, and I also have a shotgun as well, a pump one. And I've prioritized two armor steps, two armor pots, and three mini shields. Armor is incredibly good as the game. Not to steal from Monster Deface, watch his videos if you want even better Fortnite tips. But armor is incredibly OP in this game and overpowered because of the fact that it technically gives you an extra 100 health. And it typically doesn't have any limits unlike bandages as these things come in handy almost all the time. So going around here I'm just riding the storm out to collect some resources if I can so that way I can go ahead and stay outside the storm's area. Not to mention to just wall away and see if anyone's behind me or also riding out the storm. 
So we're getting to the third circle here, nearly a top 10 situation with only 12 opponents left to deal with. I've got some time to get in the circle, so I decided to take my time with making my way over there. And I also wanted to make sure that my right side was checked, since the left side was mostly cliff. So I wouldn't have to worry about anything coming from that area. Now, essentially what happens here is, the entire time I've been playing defensively and trying to avoid any conflict. The reason why I'm doing this is because I need to save my ammo for endgame. Because I honestly don't have that much. While I do have a sufficient amount of AR bullets, I want to save them for when I'm attacking other people's bases. I don't want to run down ammo or give away my position to be potentially shot at. I've gone for players before that I usually end up dying to them instead. So over here on my west side I do catch a player, but I don't actually attack them. The reason is because I know that they're probably looking for resources and they're not exactly a threat since I haven't shot at them and they haven't shot at me. Plus, I'm right next to nearby the area of the circle, which is likely to become the center, so I don't want to give myself away and get shot at. Alright, so skipping ahead even more, I've made my way into the next circle, it's shrinking. There's a bunch of legendary loot for no reason, which I'm assuming is because there was combat, but I literally just don't grab it, because it's either bait, and it's also stuff I don't need. Now, making my way across here, I get shot in the back by what appeared to me to be a semi-auto sniper. That they didn't whittle away all my shield. And also, it wasn't exactly a headshot, so it was easier to tell. If it was a normal shot, considering it wasn't a headshot, it would have taken away all my armor. But it didn't, so I knew this guy only had a 70. Now, before I start looking around for this guy, I keep my eyes towards my north, and I just go ahead and pop out my armor quickly, so that way I'm back just in case he headshots me. Now, I'm checking ahead, and I notice there was a bush, and I know this person's in front of me. So I start to go ahead and do something quickly and see if I can shoot the bushes. Using my suppressed pistol to avoid suspicion, I do find the guy in the bush. I try to open on him, but instead he just blocks it. Plus two panels get placed in front of me for no reason. He runs after the guy, which I tried to supply pressure, but then I notice that an RPG goes off. So that's when I knew it was time to bail, because I don't want to get attacked by a person with an RPG. And I know that they got eliminated too. So making my way up, I planned to get into the center of the circle. Unfortunately, someone already hogged it, so I couldn't take control of it. So I had to run back and see if I could get someone nearby the circle, but also just outside of reach. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I should start building. Because I have quite a bit of metal on me, which will come in handy to start off with the beginning section of the base. So I move a bit here and decide to start building. Now, metal is definitely one of the strongest materials in the game. And it's recommended to be used when you're starting on a base. However, technically, if someone manages to destroy it, you'll be left with little resources left. Plus, it takes a long time to set up. In these cases, that's why most people like using brick. Now, peeking through the ghosted areas before anything else happens, I check and make sure no one's there. Then I put up a wall and edit it a little bit. The reason I do this is because I want a bit of cover to block the area, but if someone shoots at me with an RPG, I don't want it to just go ahead and hit the entire section and then get hit at the top. So knowing that there was still a player towards the northeast, the person I found in the north earlier, I decided to try to whittle away at what their um, little cover they had. So using my suppressed pistol to avoid suspicion, I try to blast at it. Unfortunately, however, it wasn't exactly a lot of damage that I had done. Plus, I appeared to have ticked off the player quite enough. Because shortly after, he sent an RPG towards me. I went ahead and rotated my stairs, and also set them up just in case. However, it did hit the little section I had above me, so I lost all my shields. I had to bail again because I heard another one coming, and he was just whittling away at my base. Now, at this point, I go ahead and box myself in, and decide to take my armor pods out. Unfortunately, I made a mistake here, because the person in the base to my right placed down grenades, because he had a grenade launcher. And this hit me really badly and sent me to 40 HP. So at this point, I was a bit worried in trying to build as fast as I can to defend myself. I only had wood left. I tried to get in and heal again, leaving this open section, but he starts shooting at me with even more grenades, so I have to run immediately to avoid suspicion. And I just run back for the structure entirely. I finally notice the guys in the base, and I just build a little section to here to cut them off. That way he can't see me. Now I need to find a spot where I can heal quickly and get back to the combat, as there's only five players left. So I know they could be anywhere. 
I heard a launch pad sound here, so I assume someone placed something. But it wasn't a launch pad, it was actually just a llama, or possibly an airdrop. So going here, I found the shield, and I found the other player, who was actually engaging on someone else, so I hid behind the wall that he placed. Luckily, I wasn't spied at all by anyone, but the circle was going to go ahead of me soon. I couldn't just sit here, because I knew that I'd have to go ahead and run out from the storm. But then I see this guy is starting to build a base. I could have taken a shot at him right immediately, but I have literally little cover to go off, and only wood, while well, he is using one himself. I wait for a moment until it gets to the point where it looks like he's just about finished his base, but I also check on my south side just to make sure the person that was pressuring me before with grenades isn't doing anything. Now it's a top three situation. And I decide, since he's done building, I decide to go with a risky play and ramp rush him. Eventually, he turns into a double ramp rush, which I decide to use to get closer. I get up to him and try to pump shot him. First shot hits him, but doesn't get a headshot. I hit him again and whittle away all of his shield, but he just launch pads away. And then I know that he's hiding there, so I try to hit him with my suppressed pistol, but I miss. Then I check ahead, and I notice that instead he's gone into combat with the last person. And I see both of them. Instead of shooting at him, I knew they were going to shotgun bow, and that's what happened. One of the guys went down, the person that tried to escape earlier, and I decided to go ahead and rush the last player using the launch pad that the opponent placed. Now, he didn't notice me, even though he could have seen me here while he was looting. So, while he was distracted, since he didn't notice me, I just simply wrecked him with my shotgun. He tried to boss himself in, but he was a bit too slow when I headshot him, thus giving me the win. And as you can see, I managed to win the game with only needing to get one kill. Nothing more, nothing less. And all of it playing completely defensively and staying calm under pressure and not getting myself killed. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide on how to play Fortnite defensively and how it can help you out in a win. Let me know if this guide helped you and check out my other videos if you want to see more. Cavalry, sign out. Bye!